Hello everyone, it's Agnes coming to you with the close-up um, of my project I've done uh, recently on my page. So here is my uh, floral bouquet that I like to make um, out of the fall leaves. There are so many ways to start the project. The way I like to do um, start my center of my um, flower is to simply fold the smallest leaves that I have in half and simply start wrapping around as you see it right now. Usually I try to add five or six leaves, but this is all depends on um, how big your leaves are and how thick your leaves are. As you fold those leaves for the heart of your um, flower, just make sure that you layer them. So don't fold them right at the same level, fold them a them, uh, little bit uh, lower. So it creates additional dimension. Don't worry about them taking uh, becoming loose. That's okay. That's actually making even more interesting. So as soon as you are getting to the portion when you are already happy with the center, it's time to start to fold our leaves differently. So Okay, so now this is the portion when, of course, when you're dealing with the uh, um, maple-like looking leaves, they do have a three spiky thing. So I like to fold the middle portion and um, down and then keep the, uh, the other spikes um, loose and then try to fold them um, same way as I've done the heart. But as you notice, is I am folding, and of course, this is very confusing at the beginning. When you're folding uh, that second portion, you have to make sure that the shiny side of the leaf is actually for, folded towards the heart. So the, uh, the outside spiky corners are showing uh, nice um, colors. I hope that was clear. My goodness, it was just so difficult to explain. And most likely this is so easy. So it's again, there is no rules how many times you do that second type of fold here. It is really all depends how you like it. Again, I like to repeat three or four times so I have the additional spikes showing. And again, when you fold this, make sure that the, the outer corners of the, the ones that are sticking out out of the leaves are not overlapping, that they are sort of in the interlocking mode. Okay, so at this stage, um, usually when I do the two folds, I like to reinforce what I've wrapped just because we are not using here a hot glue. So what I like to do is just use my wire. You can also use raffia, you can use the twine and wrap whatever you created so far with it. Make sure that it's really tight. So now here goes a second, uh, I mean a third way, the third layer, the way I like to do it. So I like to add now medium sized leaves and simply fold them um, without, um, wrap them, wrap the whole heart without folding them really, just all around the full entire circle. I am intentionally not really um, speeding this video because I know you have a lot of questions about that. So that's going to actually slowly show you how it's being done. So then I go to my last portion, but it's again, it all depends on your imagination. So what I do now is I fold my leaves halfway um, on a long side and simply um, place them in between my last full row of leaves. I hope that is clear. Now look at me getting again, and it's in this in this level. I am adding all different sizes. Some are bigger, some are smaller, but I just wanted to bring additional uh, look and additional um, um, interest. You know, I love my flowers full. I know at this point, a lot of you will get um, actually very anxious because it will feel like your whole bouquet is falling apart and it's really not. It is becoming loose, but I guarantee you, as soon as you're going to do the last reinforcement, everything is going to be nicely, you know, together. And of course, it's again, as in any flowers you're making, you can stop at one or two rows. Um, you, you may not even have to add another one. But again, I like those bouquets to be big. 
So now, when I am satisfied with what I have is, I usually like to introduce some kind of a surrounding to it. So what I like to either do is bring a different color of the leaves, either they are green or bring some other element. Sometimes I do bring the fabric. But in my cases, I do have those brown leaves that you can see in the corner of my side that I am going to use um, as my um, finishing touch to my bouquet. And of course, before I'm going to bring the final layer of my leaves, I like to, as you notice, I've actually reinforced the, those, the one that I just made with additional um, um, wire, just to make sure that all is nice put together. And you'll be thinking that I'm done uh, with the layers, but I guess there was something about me trying to create an even bigger bouquet. So I'm just adding additional layers that of course they will be reinforced. But I sometimes you just can't help it if the leaves clicks together and the whole design starting to look interesting, you just wanna continue adding. But um, of course now I'm finishing off again with the full leaves just to make sure that everything is just nicely holding it to, um, you know, in place, all my half folded leaves. And now I'm going to introduce those uh, brown ones that are going to finish my bouquet. Sometimes you just have to really keep going with the layers. But as you notice, it was alternating between the full leaves and half folded on the long side. But again, it's up to you how many layers you want to add. So now I do have those brown leaves that I was mentioning earlier. Um, these are very unattractive, but they are so dry and so stiff that I they actually do not need to be protected because I don't think they are going anywhere. But they are actually making a beautiful uh, base for my whole bouquet. It seems I'm, I am satisfied with the way it looks. It seems like my bouquet is nice and sturdy, so now it's time to wrap everything up with the final layer of the wire. And of course, you could actually use the floral tape to get to the bottom, you know, and create a nice stem, but you really don't have to. I'm going to leave it the way it is because it does look pretty in a glass vase the way it is. So now, all what I need to think is about the preserving. I do have a blog post about it. How do I preserve my leaves and how do I keep them the way they are looking right now all year round? But um, just because it is being formed um, uh, into the flower, I'm going to use my match badge in a spray. I do have two kinds. One of them are shiny, one of them are matte. All what I need to do is just actually repeat that a um, couple of times, but let it dry in between each uh, layer completely to make sure that my leaves are staying red the way they are. Okay, so I think it's time for a photo shoot. So now here's the bouquet we just made together. I am absolutely pleased with it. And I do have a lot of my friends actually asking me to make some of them. So I'm so happy that I've collected a lot of leaves and there's still plenty on my tree. So I, ca I cannot wait to see your creations uh, made out of leaf and all the beautiful colors you gather outside. So it's again, keep me posted and show me all the pictures in the comments. Thanks again for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.